any questions, you can call Macedonia City Hall. That number is right there on your screen. Women's professional volleyball is rapidly gaining traction as the new Omaha franchise today released the name of the team. Yeah, the Omaha Supernovas will take to the court next February in the inaugural year of the Pro Volleyball Federation. Producer Roger Hamer spoke with two hometown players about playing in their own backyard. Natalia Valentin Anderson has played all over the world. She was captain of the Puerto Rican national volleyball team. She says playing professionally overseas was difficult. It's been over a decade where I have been going overseas to play and leaving my family and friends and missing out on a lot of things. Uh, for me, family is everything, so it was taking a toll on me personally. Former Nebraska All-American Gina Mancuso Prasaski played overseas for six years. She says she won't miss living out of a suitcase. Traveling, packing up for an overseas experience for nine months is not always easy, but then traveling from country to country within your season on a bus for 12 to 14 hours, it can be tough. Now both women can play professional volleyball at home. This opportunity came along and I think it was a blessing because I get to do what I love, what I'm passionate about, right here at home with my family. I feel so blessed. My own home with my husband and my dog, we only live 20 minutes from here and that is just, I never thought I'd be able to say something like that. Both women appreciate the fan support they know will come with the new team. I think it's amazing that I, I get to live here now and experience that you know passion that the fans have for this sport. It, it's unmatchable. Being able to play not only in my own country, but my own my home city, I feel incredibly blessed. And I just, I, I really want to make the most of it. And I want the fans, of course, to have a great experience. And um, we want their support. We also want to support them. So it's going to be such a cool inaugural season. I ended my career in this gym with winning a national championship. Alicia Ostrander's playing career ended in 2015. She elected not to play overseas. Alicia says young girls now can play professionally right here after college. While that's still a dream for these young girls, and it's a tremendous dream and one to strive for, um, but what's even more amazing now is that it doesn't just stop there for wanting to play for the United States, wanting to play for your friends and your family to come watch. Um, now they have that dream to go on and play professional volleyball here in Omaha. And I just think of all the little girls nowadays um, who they have something they have something to look forward to, to dream of, to work towards here in their own home state. I just, uh, I'm so excited. I have so many thoughts and feelings. I just, I wish I could articulate all of them, but it's going to be so amazing. On your side, Roger Hamer, WOWT 6 News. And a league spokeswoman announced a new franchise today. Dallas, Texas will join the team league in 2025, and two more teams should be announced in the coming weeks. Nebraska Secretary of State Bob Evan announced